The government of St. Lucia continues to demonstrate its commitment to keeping the population safe while fighting the coronavirus. As part of St. Lucia's arsenal, the Ministry of Health and Wellness commenced the national vaccination campaign with the aim of adding an increased layer of protection for the citizenry. Assistant Principal Nursing Officer and Immunization Manager Tekla Jabatis explained that the government continues to work assiduously to ensure that adequate vaccines are procured. At the start of the campaign, um, of course, we received a generous donation of 25,000 doses of vaccines from the government of India um, in phase one. We also had generous donations from our sister islands in the region. The government of St. Lucia continues to procure vaccines. Uh, we know of the COVAX facility for that mechanism. St. Lucia, of course, um, has received two of the batches, uh, two batches of vaccines amounting to 50,400 doses out of the allocated 74,400 doses from the Fruta COVAX facility. We expect the third batch of vaccines, which is 24,000 doses, um, sometime in early June, either the first or the second week of June. The government of St. Lucia also has procured 100,000 doses of, vac of, of vaccines just to ensure that vaccines is available and is accessible. And that shipment of vaccine we expect um, very soon. The immunization manager noted that the aim is to achieve herd immunity where at least 70% of the population has been fully vaccinated. Our target is to achieve at least 70% um, coverage and we're, we, we're, we have a target of about four, about four months to get to that. I mean, it is very important for us to return to some level of normalcy and of course, it, won't, it can't just happen this way. We know that public measures such as wearing our masks, keeping our distance, our physical distance, um, ensure, ensuring that we sanitize, this alone is not enough. And it is important that the majority of our population has this level of protection, get vaccinated, have that level of protection that will take us to a point where we can regain some level of normalcy in our lives. The national vaccination campaign was recently bolstered to include mobile and pop-up clinics in high traffic areas where individuals can access to get vaccinated. This, Jabatis stated, was as a result of the slow uptick of the first dose of the vaccine. The Ministry of Health has decided to ramp up its community vaccination outreach and that is to include the mobile pop-up um, vaccination clinics um, that would have commenced um, from last weekend. So from last weekend, we are now moving. We, we are actually, in addition to our regular vaccination sites um, that are ongoing throughout the weeks, these mobile sites will be going into communities so we actually bring in vaccination to the people. And we're targeting high areas with high traffic, especially on a weekend, the Fridays and the Saturdays. So from last weekend and moving on, we you will be seeing um, these mobile pop-up vaccination clinics at various um, high traffic areas um, across the island. Assistant Principal Nursing Officer and Immunization Manager Tekla Jabatiste.